you actually uh, are able to put in the name right here. Um, and of course, uh, you can nest the label under. So once you actually start to create labels, you can basically create like folders and subfolders in there, um, which is kind of cool. Um, and also, you know, you can go into your functions and choose a color, um, and that's, you know, edit your label. It's kind of under the edit your label function. Um, so you can show it, you can choose to have a custom color, um, you know, and you can edit it uh, according to what you have, your customary needs are. And that's basically just under the create the uh, new label and manage labels. Um, How are labels different than folders? So labels essentially act like folders. Um, so think about it in that kind of category. Um, you'll have, uh, you know, folders where you can put subfolders in and subfolders in. Right. Um, so a label, like let's say, um, that's what Gmail actually kind of set it up. They set it up almost like a folder category. So um, your main label can act as like a, you know your main folder, and then you can put subfolders underneath that. Um, so like let's say I have like a client that I'm dealing with um, named like uh, uh, what is it TriStar or something like that, and then like I have names that are TriStar, um, you know the you know recipients and stuff like that, um, and I just want to put them in there. So. Once the actual email gets sent out and they start to respond to, um, you know, if you actually put that label under that person, um, you know, um, it'll go directly into that into that folder. Um, so. That